I get to play with my banjo. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. I know, it's not that kind of banjo. It's a drywall perfect taping banjo, and I got to play with it with a ceiling, and here's how you use it. Here's a list of needed tools and materials. This bucket of joint compound is a little old and has settled. When this mud was new about six months ago, I drizzled some dish soap in it that makes it a little slicker, nicer, and easier to tool. Mix it up with a half-inch drill and a joint compound mixer. It mixes up very well. You will be a lot happier with the consistency. Now load the banjo up. Place the paper so it flows nice and evenly through the system. The pressure of pulling the tape through will coat the tape. On the nozzle end, there is a thumb screw that will adjust the amount of compound that comes out. Don't overload the banjo. The tape will get stuck and tear inside, leaving you with a mess. Now that you've got your banjo loaded, pull the tape through until you get rid of all the dry area or until the mud is coming out consistently on the tape. Using the serrated edge, cut that tape off and dispose of it. With the banjo in one hand, use the other and pull out a length of tape. With your hand, hold one end in position. Line up the banjo on the seam and slacken a little bit, then pull back, it will snap the tape up into position. Then use the serrated edge to cut off the tape. Trade the banjo for the bread pan and the drywall knife. Use the knife to flatten out all the tape and to wipe off and remove all of the excess joint compound. Repeat this process until you have covered all of the seams. Here it is again. Snap the tape up into position and then smooth and clean off all of the excess compound. Use the drywall knife to smooth out the tape. Start from the center and work to each end. The corners are a little different. Hold the banjo up close to the corner with one hand. Pull the tape out of the banjo with the other. Push it up into the corner with your hand. Now, now I know you're going to get your hand a little gooey. And if this bothers you, go to the paint section and ask for the protective gloves. They have all kinds of little uh, gloves you can wear to protect your hands from gooey substances. When working into a corner, you may need to pull the tape back a little bit. Just do what you can reach, flatten out each side, wipe down the mud as clean as you can get it. Remember that what you clean off today is something that you do not have to sand off tomorrow. The goal is to keep things as clean as possible. Now let it completely dry before applying any other coats. If you apply the next coat before the tape coat is completely dry, it will bubble the tape. So please let it completely dry. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this has been informative to you. Please subscribe, like, and share. Have a great day.